I'm Char. I'm Shandy. And I'm Keela. And we are Undefined. Undefined. Okay, okay. So <laughs> tell our viewers where you're from and how you got into music, left to right. Yeah. All right, well, I'm originally from Spring Valley, New York. I got into music. I was just dropped into music as I was born, I think. I was just came on out and was dropped into the, the a bowl of music. I'm not sure what call. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> met up with these ladies. Um, you know, a lot later on after birth. Right. <laughs> Not after birth. <laughs> Not after birth. Yeah. Oh, my no. <laughs> and it, uh, but yeah, always been into music. So. I'm Shandy again, and I'm born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I have been singing my entire life. Um, my mother said I used to sing commercials before I could talk. So. <laughs> Um, and you know, my dad's family, they sing and my mom's family sings a little bit, you know, so I, I just, I'm in it. I love it. Yes. And so I'm Keela and I'm born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and I just started singing in the church. That's when I recognized I had a voice from the reaction of the people in the church. And then I just loved it. And then, um, one of the radio personalities in Charlotte, introduced me to r &B. I sung it all my life with my older sister. And once I fell in love with that, I've been singing ever since. And then I met my group and Undefined was born. Okay, okay, okay. I like how unique you made the name. What what does branding mean to you? Um, I think branding is a lifestyle. That's what it means to me. You know, it's a lifestyle, it's, um, it's a mark. Um, yeah, the mark that you leave, the impression that you leave on the people, on the world on whatever, however big you want it to be, but it's your mark that you leave. Yeah, you know, how people sweet. remember you, how that, what makes them think of you. And speaking of Mark, I was I was following y'all. I was at y'all concerts. I was with y'all, okay, from y'all uh, fan page. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was touring with y'all. <laughs> and y'all like are so talented. Y'all sing on demand. You have stage performance. You have all the good makings of true R&B queens. So oh, you're, so much. you're welcome. So why is that important for you to just come on the scene? Like, listen, I grew up in this era and this is what I want to put out right now. Well, well, the reason why it's important to to us is because um, we have a story to tell um, throughout our journey, throughout our music, and and we just want to be empowering to everybody, to the young girl, to the woman, to to every spectrum of life, and um and even males. Mm -hmm. How that's to get right. that woman? How to keep yes. that woman? How to treat that woman? Mm -hmm. And we okay. know what you like, you know. So that's just why it's important to us, right? To anybody that has a dream at all, like don't give up. Right. You can do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can, because you can. And sometimes the world today they can put a lot of pressure on you and make you feel you got to be this way or that way. But we are indeed undefined. We're not going to let anybody put us in a box. Then right. they're not going to tell us how we got to be or whatever. This is what is in our heart, is in our soul, and we want to present it to the world we feel like that's what we're here to do we that's can't right. leave it alone so and i want to add this one thing mm -hmm. and also we're going to defy the odds and we have our own lane you know we don't want to be like anybody else but ourselves and so that's another thing why it's important you know everybody has their own uniqueness and so you know we exemplify that mm -hmm. and others should too yeah authentic really do y'all are super cool like i've interviewed many groups but y'all are so like respectful of each other and give each other space and time to be your creative selves. So when you decided to become a group, was that one of the things that, that you talked about? Absolutely, I think that's one of the main reasons that we are a group because we wholeheartedly love each other. We respect each other. We adore each other, um, our talents. We, we give each other all of, you know, our glory and our moments because we we love everything about each, you know, individually. Mm -hmm. um, I love how her voice is. I love how she, we love what each other brings to the table. Um, and that's what is a, a issue in a lot of other groups, you know, maybe in the past, but we definitely feel like, what well, I can say myself, I always say, you know, I want to be a singer, but it's amazing to be able to do it with people that you love and y'all get there together, you know? That's right. So, and I want to chime in with my talkative self. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> one of the things that I love about my group and I'm so um, addicted to is, is that even though we're three women, Shandy's the lead singer of the group, but she's not a, 
selfish person. So you almost wouldn't know who the lead is because she leads a lot of the songs, but she gives us our moment too. There's no shine in this group. You know, Char stands out because she has her own swag and her own lane. Shan has her own shine and her own lane and so do I. And so what I think is magnificent about my group is, is that like Shandy said, we love each other. You know, it won't be a breakup here. You know, you won't get it. Okay. No because we are truly sisters and we've been friends for a very long time and we're in love with each other and we're in love with going on this journey together. And so I want other people to see that, you know, it's no competition when we all on the same mission. That's right. Bars. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I saw that with y'all when y'all sung, it was a song that y'all were singing on the sidewalk. And I'm like, oh, they say no. you, but you give each other space to breathe. So it's nobody trying to steal the limelight. And I love that about y'all. So before we get into your newest single, I do want to address, um, you know, Escape Got Their Flowers finally. How did that make you feel as a group watching somebody you knew growing up getting their flowers now? And overcoming those things. Inspiring. Very, very. And, and it's a testament to what we believe. It's never too late. That's right. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, and now some are like, you know, younger generation can see who they are. We know exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. right. And then receiving their flowers. But you know, when it, God's timing, that's all it is for us. Right. It's just God's timing. It was their timing in their careers at that moment while their children are older, mm -hmm. you know, to see their moms flourish. That's right. That's they right. deserve it. Yeah. They do put in the work, keep going at it, and you'll get what's due to you. Getting they sexy as hell while they're doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we all the we trying to be sexy. We ain't trying okay. to be right. <laughs> We did all that other stuff. Y'all young girls right. better get like us. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so speaking of your new single, it's a Christmas song, but you got a little heartbreak in there, but it's kind of upbeat. So I, yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, um, ultimately, we just thought it would be cool to do a holiday song. You know, why not? We hear Christmas songs last night. We love the Christmas season. Um, and we said, let's go for it. So an idea came about, a, a melody, and we just came together and made it what we believe to be the next hit, the next song to be played for Christmases to come, you know? <laughs> Let me be clear, okay. it's a classic. <laughs> it is a classic. It, it has that feel that can go on like a Mariah Carey or one of the Temptations, and that's what we were very intentional about. Yeah, but like a new, you know, yeah. a new flavor. So okay, like, like you a said, new Jack Swing. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm, 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 I'm you, you said it's got a little heartbreak, but it's yeah. upbeat. And then, you know, which is, I just saw that um, Instagram thing that guy was talking about how it, a breakup was when women were older okay. versus now. I don't know if you saw that, but. It's kind of like that. Like, you know, yeah, it's got a bop to it. I mean, we might be heartbroken, but you don't have to be heartbroken about a man. It could be, you might just be missing. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. You're very lonely because you, know, you don't awesome. have to work and nobody yeah. else does. It's, it's, some definite, it's definitely subliminal. You know, okay. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. holiday season. Mm -hmm. I say message, okay? Message. message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So tell the viewers the name of the song, where they can download that. And I didn't see it on YouTube, so it's not ready yet. Not yet. The name of the song is Santa, and it will be available on all platforms on Friday, December 2nd. Yes. Now, I have a special request since y'all sing on demand and all, oh, all right. that stuff. Okay? Right. Not for that, but anyway. <laughs> Can you sing a, a snippet of Santa for our viewers? Absolutely. We can do that. Okay. okay. This Christmas. This, on this Christmas. Okay. <laughs> what we're here to say is, I got one thing on my lips, Santa. Santa. Santa, can you bring me some love this Christmas? Love this Christmas, Santa. Santa, can you bring me some love this Christmas? Love this Christmas. Take it to church, y'all. Okay. Hey. Right. <laughs> right. Take it to church, okay? Listen, I'm ready to go out now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is this an original song of yours and uh you said it is birthed from heartbreak or it is subliminal so it is a it's definitely a classic you have a r&b feel to it 
Like, what more do you want to do with it? We want to do everything that can be done with it. You know, whoever can feel it, play it, live, you know, whatever. It's just. Yeah. We want it to be our Christmas anthem, our mm -hmm. Christmas movement, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely want momentum behind it because, again, it's so many people that have lost loved ones that they can apply mm -hmm. to. It's a lot of people that, like my kids, are ungrateful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm full breath and you just want a little love. You feel like you've been used for holiday season, you know. But we just want it to definitely be a movement. It's still a feel good, even yeah. though, yeah. you know, we're talking about we want love this Christmas. It could just be anything. You know, sometimes, you know, we get away from tradition, from Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the holidays. Like some people have their families now, so they do that in their own homes and sometimes your mom feels left out so it's just whatever people can do because all everybody can relate to this song right, right. that's right. not necessarily about a man could just be yeah. you want some appreciation like you said yeah. some your mm -hmm. ungrateful kids yeah. period <laughs> you know it's not like what would the lonely do at christmas like that would happen yeah. like, and crying you know but more upbeat like yeah, you know, I just want some love santa Love okay, it. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and with that, um, do you plan to do NFTs? Like, what more do you want to do in the digital realm with your music? Because you get paid for NFTs too. Yeah. Yeah. We open to whatever. Yeah. You so know. you know, we want to make a challenge of it. You know, yeah. we want to do whatever we can to really glorify this record because again, it's a classic. It's evergreen. It's gonna it's be around for a long time. It's probably a, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how do you find y'all? I'm still kind of like getting chills from y'all singing live. Okay, so let me. <laughs> <laughs> so how do y'all? You, like you said, you have children. So how do you find balance and still try to cultivate the group? It's definitely prioritizing, right? So it's not enough hours in a day. Work-life balance doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. But when you want to do something, you make time. You just make so time. we respect each other so much in our time and in everything that we do that we just make sure that one day during the week we're rehearsing, that we have a meeting one day during the week so we understand what our schedules are like, and that we balance being moms and being entrepreneurs and workers. And, you know, we just make time, but we respect time, be it in the studio, when we're writing songs, mm -hmm. um, we reference songs and send them to each other. It's it's just a melody, man. It's a, it's a hell of a journey. Mm -hmm. And it's just a medley, like it's a recipe to what we do and it works. And once you make the decision that you want to do something, it's just like you got to just do whatever it takes to make it happen. And I mean, who needs sleep? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we're a family we're a family like so all of our kids they know each other you know they're they are a family they're all cousins and you yeah. know like that helps that you know they they can hang out together mm -hmm. and you know yeah. and mingle and call each other and stuff like that we can yeah. just all be in the same place right. yeah and our kids root us on and so when we're yeah. talking you know it just it works man it, you know we're definitely blessed it's our time that's how we feel about it. Everything is just kind of falling into place mm -hmm. by the grace and we're gonna go with it. You know? Okay. So then, and speaking of it's your time, like I saw another video on your YouTube, y'all doing the In Vogue joint and I love that song. I, you know, it's one song that y'all remade by In Vogue and I can't think of the name of it, but it was one of their songs where somebody was sitting up waiting on that man to come home. <laughs> 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. y'all remake that because y'all have like over 30,000 views for that video alone we were just singing songs yeah, those are just covers was... that we were doing we liked the yeah. song and we would we just sing it yeah just we just got yeah. a hold of a hook and just yeah mm -hmm, just try to make it our own yeah so mm -hmm. do y'all have any uh sing uh other projects coming out aside from the christmas song well, aside from the Christmas song, we currently actually have a remake to Come and Talk to Me by Jodeci that we did that is out on all platforms. And the video is actually on YouTube as well. Um, we have that and then upcoming in the new year, we'll have a single to drop as well. Okay, okay, okay. I saw that Jodeci too. So what was the inspiration behind Come and Talk to Me to revamp it, to make it more feminine? <laughs> Just that, um, Jodeci is the, I mean, amazing, most innovative R&B group. I mean, they are everything. Yeah. We love them um, and we just really want to pay homage to them. It's a classic song, we love it. And I really, I really just aggravated them to do I, I just thought it would be dope if we did. I thought we would sound really good doing it. I think we pulled it off. I think it turned out really, really good. It's just, I just thought it would be hot. And well, she definitely aggravated us with it. <laughs> she made a believer out of me. I, I will say that because you know, sometimes it's hard to sing a male song to make it a female version. Mm -hmm. And I know we're pretty dope and pretty talented, but I didn't know if we could pull that off. 
But when they came with the arrangement, I was like, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> now, y'all were going to pull that off. I mean, you have alto, soprano, and lower, right, lower uh, register. What? So you just became a group in 2020. You weren't a group before, correct? No, we were just singing as hobbies. Yeah, not officially, hobbies. but you know, yeah. we've we've always we've always been singers and we've been friends, so we've I mean, always we've been sang together. together. Yeah, yeah. But, but officially to just say we're going to record and do an album and things like that, 2020. I just can't believe how your vocals come together in the way that they it's seamless. It's just like you all you sing different ranges for sure but it comes together so eloquently. I am really blown away by how y'all sound, even <laughs> on recording. And I'm like, I'm going to take it to the concert. <laughs> so you open for Tank. What's Who's been the best opener? What was the best performance that y'all have done? I was like, open up for Tank. Yeah, I mean, because that's yeah, right in that r and pocket, Tank, Silk, cake, like that was just right in there. And, and it was, for me, for the group, it was the overwhelm from the love, you know, because mm -hmm. when you're yeah. opening act, you know, you think and you've heard stories and you just think that they will dismiss you. You know how people be like, I'm going to get something to drink, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that at all. Right. It, was, it was our original song. So it's like, yeah. you know, that's even harder yeah. to present to a crowd who doesn't know you. Like, right. they sat for it, they yeah. lived for it, they, they were, were Yeah, they and were they singing it. Yeah, they were Quiet. singing it by the time we finished. Yeah. It's amazing. Stand and they showed us love when we were done. Yes. People wanted to take pictures. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing experience. That was just, mm -hmm. it, yeah. It was awesome. It, it definitely gave us validation of, you know what, guys, that rush wasn't for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Those <laughs> butterflies weren't for nothing. It right. was amazing. And the love that we got and we received, I mean, it's priceless. Mm -hmm. So okay. that was the best. Yes. Speaking of priceless, you do have other things going on with the with the beautiful music that you make. You mentioned that you were entrepreneurs. Can you talk about what you have going on on the side and how people can connect with you to uh purchase what you have or just simply follow follow what you have going on mm, right well that's nice well <laughs> i'm definitely i'm a life coach and they can follow me on what is it loving keila i don't even know what it is <laughs> i don't even know what my instagram is it's awful <laughs> they can go to undefined and find my link i don't really know right, but, it's not gonna be yeah but, but yeah. you know because it's all about living your life on your terms and and not getting your own way so that's kind of what i do and we also have our group website, undefinedmusic.com, yeah. which we have a little, you know, merch set up on there. If you want to support us, you can mm -hmm. buy our, and our merchandise. Mm -hmm. And our logo is hot, so yeah. get you one. Check it. My friends are my <laughs> friends are hot. <laughs> oh, the brand is bomb. That's what made that's number one that stands out to me. Uh when I got the press kit, I'm like, oh, this is well put together, colorful, and these these they are beautiful. So it all mm -hmm. comes together, it works. Well, so are you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Brown girls <laughs> rock. <laughs> thank you. So then, my question is sonically: your sonic superheroes, like the the the, the songstress or the the male vocalist that made you tap into the vocalist that you are today, because you didn't start out like this. Like, who who were your sonic sonic superheroes? Well, we'll go from left to right. Well, before we answer that, I just want to say, because we didn't say what I do, I own and operate a hair salon, Halo Salon Boutique, and I also have a trail mix company, which is so good, snacks, either of those you can Google, and you know, I have a holiday special going on for everything. But it's, it's so good. It is so okay. good. It's so good. I wish y'all didn't have a bag, but right. I'll right. get you some, girl. Okay, because like, I'm going to want some of that trail mix, all right? I got <laughs> All right. Sure. Go. Not okay, up. so inspiration? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, so many. I mean, first one that comes to mind, Mariah Carey. I was obsessed completely from day one when I saw her uh, and heard her. Um, you know, Mariah, Whitney, all the all the greats. Um, Anita Baker, all like mm -hmm. everybody. I could go on and on. All right. and on and on. Cut it short. I, I know. <laughs> for me would be um, definitely Mariah, Whitney, um, Shirley Murdoch, and then we come on up to Faith Evans, one of my favorites, Jasmine Sullivan, mm -hmm. you know, and I love Chris Brown, you know, just, uh, you know, I just do. So. Well, they named the ones that I like, but I'm going to take it a little further. 
uh, Daryl Coley with his runs, um, yeah. the gospel singer. I mean, I thought that was crazy yeah. bananas when I was growing up. Um, yeah. Rochelle, for real. Mm -hmm. um, I loved her growing up. Will Downey with his Lord register and how he could control notes. Um, and again, Mariah sings, but she wasn't one of my favorite, but Whitney Houston was. Um, definitely Aretha Franklin and um, Patty <laughs> was one, but also Phyllis Hyman. Mm -hmm. I just love somebody who just has like that rich tone and also a Tony Braxton baby. Right. That was that Elvis. Yeah, that I don't think that was Tony. Hmm. <laughs> I there because that was fun. It was a mix. Yeah. <laughs> and also Elvis. Okay. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Right. You got a good mix going on. Right. So, like with it, you sing true R&B and then you definitely have the new school sound that you could add to it. So I know I always ask people, what do you like most and what do you dislike about R&B? But it seems like you like everything that's encompassing with R&B. So what do you look to add to it? Undefined flair. Hello. And, and you know, because that's that's the only thing I can say because we truly don't sound like anybody and people yeah. ask us all the time. And we're not saying that from an arrogant place. We just humble, like we just sound like us. We don't sound like in vogue, but we adore them. Yeah. Right. We don't sound like escape, but we adore them. And all their voices are distinctive, just mm -hmm. like ours. And we don't sound like SWV, but we adore them. But we just ready for y'all to hear us. Yeah. So people can say they're like undefined too. You know, they were inspired by undefined too. We try to kind of put like it, it would be like soul, hip hop, and R and B because we're not just soul, hip hop, R and B. You know, we got a little bop to us. You know, we're not you know just supreming it out, but right. you know we are soulful singers. We got that gospel background, but totally R and B. You know, with an edge. You know, it's, it's like David Ruffin meets no more. Okay, Chris Brown. <laughs> right, Chris Brown. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> That's a little iffy. That's it. That's it. You no, I'm sorry. We're silly. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. It's beautiful. So how how did you find your pivot leading into the group? Like going through the pandemic and then just getting to this space of I'm just loving everybody. Let's go get this money. I think we were just and again the pandemic did um push us because we didn't know and it was just a what if for us. Like let's go after let's go after ours. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think, and we went into it not thinking we were going to, you know, commit to an album or anything like that. Right. We, it organically just turned into a thing. We just wanted to record one song, and then one song led to a library of songs. Mm -hmm. And a whole thing. And then it was like, y'all ready? Yeah, because life is short, and let's just go. I mean, this is what we always wanted. This is what the only thing that we really, truly want. And it feels damn so, good. You know, what is life all about? It feels good. Mm -hmm. And so our, in our music, you're journeying with us through our experiences. And so Completely. every song is a journey that we went through. Mm -hmm. So you'll learn a lot about us. Y'all are the type of singers that you could do karaoke to. Like, oh. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Karaoke. Yeah. Like you're the type that you're going to remember the song because your vocals are that bad. Like not bad in a bad. I want to curse <laughs> like that. But... <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. your vocals are the ones that people follow so we're going to remember them for for years to come oh, and then uh with that being said what do you want i know you what you want people to remember the group by but individually what do you want to be remembered by guess we'll start from left to right listen all right <laughs> let's start from right let's start Still there. <laughs> all right um well what i want to be remembered by is um my flair um, you know, be it hair, be it my style, um, and just my sense of humor, man. Life is short. You got to laugh through it to get to it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I like to be remembered for. And, you know, you'll see all of our hearts through our music, mm -hmm. and you'll definitely see what unconditional love looks like when you look at Undefined. Um, and so that's what I want to be remembered by. Loving my group, loving on my, they're really my sisters. That's why it's nothing but us to sing together. It's nothing but us to do things together. Nothing is planned. Everything is straight up organic and, and you know, we rock that way. So that's what I want to be remembered by. I would like to be remembered for just my heart for music and connecting with people. Everything about music and singing is about the connection to people. How do they feel when they hear what we're singing and you know, just what emotion does that evoke in the people? Um, I think I'm pretty humble and I love to laugh and have fun and I just want to spread that, you know, that's me. And I really want her to show that because she's a comedian. <laughs> you want to talk. All right. 
Okay, so we're all comedians. And we're, we're very silly. <laughs> That's all we do together is laugh. It's ridiculous, actually. But... <laughs> Life is short. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, similar. I just, I, I'm genuine, you know, I'm very humble. I, I have a big heart. I don't like to be taken advantage of, but I have a very big heart. And that's that's what I want to be known for. Like, just being that real, you know, just real genuine person. Just just that you, you can, I mean, like you said, you can hear it in our music, in our, you know, in our speech, in our, in everything. Yeah. But have we ever taken advantage of you? All right. I was like, don't ask me that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, first, we're going to wait until we get off camera, okay? All right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a look. So, this is my last question because it is Sunday, and you beautiful queens probably got a life you got to get back to. So, once again, where can they download your new music and where can they follow you? Be sure to follow us right now at undefined underscore on Instagram. And that's undefined with a Y, not an I. Um, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, whatever else, YouTube, it's undefined music. And our music is available on all platforms. So, you know, Spotify, Apple, Deezer, whoever. I don't even know all of them. All of them. All, it's on the platforms. And don't forget and YouTube, Santa is this there. Friday. And come and talk to me, is there available? Check the video out on YouTube, download that as well. Yes. It says Absolutely. like, subscribe, and share. comment, share, all, all of that. It. All the engagement. We need it. And all also, the engagement. Anyway. They deserve it. These queens are so freaking talented. Like, you heard them. You already know what they got going on. So get with them, okay? Right. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. So thank you, queens. And I'm going to download. I, I already have it. But I'm going <laughs> to download it anyway. I'm going to buy it and download it anyway. Because oh. that's just what y'all about. And I respect what you're doing and following your dreams and keeping it going and just having an authentic sisterhood because we don't see that in music anymore. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Nice to Welcome. meet you. Yes. yes. yes.